again you guys it's Carly from the Poetry of Nice and today I'm going to share with you 20 items on eBay that sold for $25 or more in the last three months. If you're new here welcome this is a channel all about reselling online I sell on eBay, Etsy and Poshmark and um, I do it all while being a stay-at-home parent to three little boys so this is my part-time job to help contribute to my family whether it be debt payoff, vacations or other fun stuff in between. On this channel you're going to find everything from haul videos to sales videos, um, how-to tutorials, day in the life and all kinds of cool stuff in between so if that sounds interesting to you please do think about hitting the subscribe button down below and don't forget to say hi in the comments so that I can say hello back. All right, without further ado, we're just going to hop straight on over to the laptop. I'm going to show you the 20 items I'm going to share with you that sold for at least $25 on eBay. Actually, spoiler, two are $24.99. Don't be mad, <laughs> okay? $25 roughly and um, but I'm going to share them with you and they're all from the last three months as well so you can see that these are items that are um, relevant to what is selling right now online all right let's do it all right you guys so here we are over on like my eBay sold I'm going to treat this just like I usually do for any um sales update obviously this is just like over the course of three months rather than the last week um but I'm going to let you know where I found the item how much I originally paid how much it sold for and I'm going to try and give you an indication as well how long it was listed for because that matters too so let's crack on um so this is a Burberry Brit top I actually found two of these they averaged out to two dollars and ninety cents a piece on um from the thrift store that I found them at it was really really nice in good condition um and it sold within a week of listing for forty eight dollars this was my asking price someone sent me a best offer of forty eight plus shipping I went ahead and took it because I had two ninety in it and the average sales price on both Poshmark on and eBay was actually more like between 30 and 50 I listed it higher just to see how that could fare but a week listed $48 I'm happy with that so that is number one and let me go ahead and make sure I show you the labels for each of these items as well just in case you're interested so there's the label and the inside label and all the good stuff all right here we go um, so these actually got paid for I mentioned these in a whole video I know they they were bought but they took a while for the person to pay but they did pay and um, this was a new brand to me so the brand is true spec I'm going to go ahead again and show you this labels there we go and these are actually um, there's a lot of two here and I got them for 50 cents a piece at a rummage sale so a dollar total in this they sold for a best offer of $28 plus shipping um, and they are like first responder uniform almost like EMTs and things like that would wear cargo pockets that kind of thing they're a women's size too and they sold within the same day of listing for that best offer so I was happy with that Franco Sato this is a brand is sort of hit or miss with me but I got these for 50 cents at a rummage sale a filler bag sale and they sold for best offer oh no I'm sorry I tell a lie they sold on sale as you can see here for $27.99 um, they were just sort of like tall boots with a pointed toe and you know kind of blocky heels here is the label right there they were uh, they weren't leather they were a faux leather um, and yeah, they sold pretty quickly. They sold, I would say, within um, the first three to four weeks of listing. These I thought were going to do so much better in terms of like how fast they would sell. So Mephisto, um, let me find the label. There you go. That's what they look like on the inside. These are expensive shoes. Um, and I thought that they would do a lot better. I spent $4 on these at a rummage sale. And they eventually, eventually, about, oh my goodness, seven months later of being cross-posted on eBay and Poshmark, they finally sold for a best offer of $35 plus shipping, which isn't a bad return for $4. But like I said, they did take a while to sell. Um, and Eileen Fisher piece this was hemp organic cotton blend and um, this like chambray type skirt actually sold really quickly for me it sold within about two weeks of listing um, and it sold for a best offer of $30 I actually had one dollar in it from a rummage sale so I was not too worried about that and here is the label and I believe the gray on white is like the newer label as opposed to the black on the white which is just ever so slightly older um, this was another rummage sale find, a 50 cents find, and um, it was a vintage Calvin Klein worsted wool vest, like a v-neck cable neck vest. There is the label. Um, very interesting. I grabbed it because it just kind of caught my eye. It was a lovely bold color, kind of like a burnt orange deep red type color. Um, and I took a best offer on this for $35. Um, and this actually sold within the week of listing as well. 
That's what we like, one week listed. <laughs> um, I took a best offer on this item as well. I spent $1 on this and took a best offer of $32. It's Eileen Fisher, and I actually thought it would do better. So it was linen blend. It was beautiful, this like structured neckline, not a mark on it. It was so, so lovely. Um, yeah, I just thought that it was going to do a lot better than it actually did. But it took a long time to sell. I would say I've had it listed for around six or seven months as well. So when someone uh, offered me $32 as opposed to the $39.99 I had listed, I thought that was very fair and I took it. Okay, so this next item is by Fresh Produce. It was such a beautiful, like, burnout style tank dress with pockets on the front. I paid a dollar for this at a rummage sale and it sold for a best offer of 25, but it sold within 48 hours. And again, that was right around that kind of market value, give or take. So I was very happy to take that. Uh, next item, this was another rummage sale find. This was a 50 cents find. Um, and it was not a brand that I was familiar with. I'm going to show you that label as well. It's Cartis. But actually, I'm going to be honest, when I saw the label, I didn't, I thought it looked kind of cheap. But when I looked at the comps and stuff, it turns out that this brand is actually pretty expensive. Um, it was so interesting is why I grabbed it. It was a newer piece, but it had a very like 90s vibe to to it I thought at least with like very retro quilted kind of puffer jacket with oversized buttons anyway long story short I paid $50 for it and someone sent me a best offer of $31.99 within a week of listing um, and I was happy to take that um, these were from a rummage sale as well 50 cents I had in these these are always a no-brainer for me so these were Calvin Klein um, I grab a lot of vintage jeans no matter the brand Calvin Klein does pretty well for me in my opinion um, they are high waisted by which I mean they have a high rise of like I think it's about 11 inches or more so these were about 12 inches I think um, and they had a tapered leg as well definitely what you could refer to as a mom jean um, but just overall really really nice jeans in great condition and they sold for the full asking price of $39.99 so again 50 cents into them 39.99 and again these sold within a week of listing this one was a little bit of a disappointment for me as you can see here I ran a 50% off sale which is when it finally sold it's helmet lang which um absolutely should have done better by all the comps and things like that this is a you know much higher end brand it's great quality all that good stuff I was able to find the exact um style name and things like that it was a beautiful piece um it was a size small but it just didn't do that well so I actually paid seven dollars for this at a thrift store which I probably would again to be fair because the brand is so good I don't know if it was perhaps just the piece I'm not sure and um, but it finally sold after about six months of being listed on both platforms for $29.99 so a little bit disappointed with that but that's how it goes sometimes the market speaks <laughs> um so this was newer tags gap it was a um I guess it was like a wool blend oversized like mock turtleneck sweater like I said new with tags um and I grabbed it because it was new with tags really I didn't think much of it but it sold really quickly within two or three days of being listed and um it sold for 25 dollars and again I paid 50 cents so not too bad at all and this piece was a surprise as well so this is guest collection which I sort of figured maybe was slightly higher end than normal guess. I wasn't really sure, but I like the fabric content with the Angora rabbit hair. Um, it seemed to be an older piece as well, but I liked the style, that big cowl neck. It was very fluffy. It was in wonderful condition. I grabbed it at the rummage sale for 50 cents just to see what would happen. And um, I took a best offer within, probably within two weeks for this piece for $35 plus shipping, which I was very happy with. Um, this is another brand that to me is just such a nice staple and it always seems to move pretty good in the slightly larger sizes. So again, a 50 cents at a rummage sale. I love those rummage sale prices. Um, Land's End, I thought it was a cute style um, and um, it was a size 16 tall, which definitely went in its favor and it sold on a best offer of $24.99 plus shipping within a week as well. Nice quick flips. Um, this sold almost immediately. I think it sold within the day of being listed. It's just a vintage Minnesota football sweatshirt. Um, I didn't think much of this. I sell a lot of vintage like collegiate wear or um, sportswear and things like that. And to me, this didn't really stand out as anything special, I suppose. Um, I'm not sure if it was to do with the fact the Metrodome and things like that. Things had changed since 1993. 
Maybe there was a nostalgia factor there, but it sold for full asking price within a rounded day of being listed of $34.99. And again, that was 50 cents. And I think it did have a couple of little marks, if I'm not mistaken, like on the arms and stuff. Yeah, so it still sold despite the flaws. Um, this beautiful J. Crew dress I picked up, it was 100% silk and I'm usually very wary of those because I still have some silk dresses that I've had listed for, oh my goodness, over a year and just they don't seem to want to go anywhere. But I really liked it. Um, I looked at the style number when I was in the thrift store and looked at the comps and I figured it was worth paying the $350 because it was half price. Um, and it sold for $27.99 on sale, but it sold within about two or three weeks of being listed. So I was pretty happy with that. Next brand is a brand I always pick up because it's a higher end brand as well. Very expensive retail. It takes a long while to sell for me, I'm not going to lie, but I like the quality and I like the pieces. So um, it's theory, as you can see here. Let me go ahead and show you that tag. There we go. Um, and it was a size zero, so I kind of wasn't holding my breath to how quickly it would sell. Um, but it actually sold on a best offer of $32.75. And it cost me $5 in the thrift store. So that is not too bad a return investment at all. But it did take a few months to move. Um, this piece took a few months as well, probably about four or five months. But I got this at a church rummage sale in the hard goods section. And um, I knew it was vintage because it has the big L on Lisa Frank. The newer pieces have the little L. So that's a good thing to look at if you find these pieces out and about as to whether or not to sort of give it further inspection. Um, you can see the logo there. And I found this piece straight away online um, and what other people were selling it for. It was going anywhere from between like $10 to $40. So I started high and low as I went and it sold for the asking price you see there of $29.99 and again it was 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping too. These shoes um, were in great condition. They actually, it cost me 25 cents because it was the end of a rummage sale filler bag and they were the Brogue Oxford Tom, so they're a men's shoe. They're almost like a denim, um, like a gray denim is what they were. I thought they were really nice. I thought they would sell faster and they didn't. They took a good few months to sell. Um, maybe size eight is perhaps like a smaller men's size. I'm not too sure. But anyway, I took a best offer of $26.99 and like I said, about 25 cents into them. And the final item, number 20, are these men's dress shoes, Allen Edmonds. Again, rummage shell find. 50 cents in a filler bag is what it evened out to. Um, I completely encourage you guys, if you haven't considered church rummage sales as a place for sourcing and you don't mind to do a little bit of digging and stuff like that, look into it. Like go on Craigslist or go in yard sale treasure map and take a look at what's going on in your area. Bearing in mind that most things don't start until spring and then go through like summer and fall. Rummage sale season for me is spring and fall. Um, but I definitely would encourage you to take a look at what's out there because those cost of goods are so low and there are some real treasures to be found. Um, so they did have some marks. Them. You can see here around the front and stuff, there's definitely some scuff in. They've definitely been worn. Um, but I just disclosed everything. And I took a best offer of $35 after about two, two or three months of being listed. And again, 50 cents into those. All right, you guys. So uh, that's everything I had to show you. Those are my 20 items that sold for $25 or more on eBay. All right, you guys, I hope that that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you would like to see more. Don't forget to say hello so that I can say hello back down below in the comments. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.